never see to every nation great is our God and King He is the rock of our salvation keep up your hand and sing so sing for we are God's people for He has shown us His ways He gathers us to His table to partake of His grace. Let us sing to every nation, great is our God and King. He is the rock of our salvation. Lift up your hearts and sing. Great is our God and King. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Peace be with you and with your spirit. And with your spirit. Tunay nga po na nagagalak tayo sa unang biyernes ng buwan ng Septyembre at tayo ay may mga bisita. Ang ating mga bisita ho ay mga misyonerong pari, mga miyembro po ng kongregasyon ng Alagad ni Maria. At kasama po nila, with them is the bishop, their bishop. They serve the, the Diocese of Orange. And we welcome our priests who are serving in the United States, Father Dodik Atentar, Father Ian Buste, Bustonera, Father Rafael De Loma, Father Aaron Rio, Rio La, Malas, Father Raymond Viajandre, Father Dexter Nebrida, Father Juvi Crisostomo, and Reverend, Reverend Janer Digitan, and together also is with the Secretary of the Bishop, Father David Moreno. And we also welcome with our warm round of applause and thanksgiving to God, the presence of Bishop Kevin Van, the Bishop of the Diocese of Orange. So welcome to the Minor Basilica and National Shrine of Jesus Nazareno. Dear brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess Almighty God, and, to God, and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever-Virgin, all the angels and the saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Let us pray. O God, who will that your only begotten Son should undergo the cross to save the human race, grant we pray that we who have made known his mystery on earth may merit the grace of his redemption in heaven. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, thus should one regard us as servants of Christ, and stewards of the mysteries of God. Now it is, of course, required of stewards that they be found trustworthy. It does not concern me in the least that I be judged by you 
or any human tribunal. I do not even pass judgment on myself. I'm not conscious of anything against me, but I do not thereby stand acquitted. The one who judges me is the Lord. Therefore, do not make any judgment before the appointed time until the Lord comes. For he will bring to light what is hidden in darkness and will manifest the motives of our hearts. And then everyone will receive praise from God. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The salvation of the just comes from the Lord. The salvation of the just comes from the Lord. Trust in the Lord and do good that you may dwell in the land and be fed in security. Take delight in the Lord, and He will grant you your heart's request. The salvation of the just comes from the Lord. Commit to the Lord your way, trust in Him, and He will act. He will make justice done for you like the light, bright as the noonday, shall be your vindication. The salvation of the just comes from the Lord. Turn from evil and do good, that you may abide forever. For the Lord loves what is right and forsakes not his faithful ones. Criminal are destroyed and the posterity of the wicked is cut off. The salvation of the just comes from the Lord. The salvation of the just is from the Lord. He is their refuge in time of distress. And the Lord helps them and delivers them. He delivers them from the wicked and saves them because they take refuge in Him. The salvation of the just comes from the Lord. Please all stand. Hallelujah. I am the light of the world, says the Lord. Whoever follows me will have the light of life. Hallelujah. 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 The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. The scribes and Pharisees said to Jesus, The disciple of John the Baptist fast often and offer prayers. And the disciples of the Pharisees do the same, but yours eat and drink. Jesus answered them, Can you make the wedding guests fast while the bridegroom is with them? But the days will come, and when the bridegroom is taken away from them, then they will fast in those days. And he also told them in a parable, no one tears a piece from a new cloth to patch an old one. Otherwise, he will tear the new. The piece from it will not match the old cloak. Likewise, no one pours new wine into old wineskins. 
Otherwise, the new wine will burst the skins and it will be spilled and the skin will be ruined. Rather, new wine must be poured into fresh wine skins and no one who has been drinking old wine desires new. For he says, the old is good. Brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Dear brothers and sisters and friends all, this is my second time to be here and to pray at the Capo Church. My name is Bishop Kevin Van, V-A-N-N. I'm the Bishop of Orange in California. In our diocese, we, have, we are blessed. We have many, many Filipinos in our parishes. And we're blessed, too, to have some of the priests here the Aliga and the Maria, who are in our parishes and assist with youth ministry. So I am here on a pilgrimage and to spend some time here, and I'm grateful that God in his providence has brought me back to the Catholic Church one more time. Now, just a couple of things to think about. We celebrate the liturgy of the Triumph of the Cross, the feast day of which is September the 14th, so not so long ago, not so far away. Two things on this day, the Triumph of the Cross. Number one, when the real true cross of Christ was found by St. Helena in Jerusalem, and then also when the Basilica of the Holy Cross in Jerusalem was dedicated on this day. So we have much to celebrate today. It's good to think about and to remember that we in the midst of our life and our challenges and our sufferings, not to look down, but to look up toward heaven, look up toward Christ, because he, in his mercy, helps us to be triumphant over every other challenge in life. Not to look down, but to always to look up and to be grateful for how God enters our lives when we least suspect it. Especially in the moments of challenge, difficulty, and suffering, there he is with us. Because the cross triumphs over every difficulty in life. So I'm grateful to be here. I pray that you all have a very blessed day. And you know the blessing of the triumph of the cross for you, in your life, and your loved ones, every day of your life. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. My beloved brothers and sisters, please stand. Let us adore our Lord and Savior, who at the Last Supper entrusted to his church the memorial of his death and rising again. In every prayer we say, Jesus of Nazareth, have mercy on us. Jesus of Nazarene, have mercy on us. Lord Jesus, on the cross you <laughs> offered yourself to the Father. Teach us to offer ourselves together with your offering of the holy sacrifice of the Mass. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord Jesus of, of Nazarene, Nazarene have, have mercy, mercy on, on us. Through your suffering and death, you brought us everlasting life. Give us the strength of the Holy Spirit so that we may never grow tired of serving you and our neighbors. Let us pray to the Lord. Jesus of Nazarene, have, have mercy, mercy on us. O Lord, you bore the insults of the humans, notwithstanding your kingship. Give us courage to bear witness to your goodness and truth. Let us pray to the Lord. Jesus of Nazarene, have mercy on us. 
Lord Jesus, you give consolation to the lonely, the suffering, and the sick. Lay your healing hands on them so that they may feel your presence. Let us pray to the Lord. Jesus of Nazarene, have mercy on us. Lord Jesus, at the time of our death, may your mother pray for us so that we may be with you in paradise. Let us pray to the Lord. Jesus of Nazarene, have mercy on us. Loving Father, you will that your Son, Jesus, give his life, that we, he may be, we may be with you in heaven. Grant that we may be united to his suffering and death, so that we can be united with him in his rising again. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Please be seated. We lift up you. All these gifts we offer for your glory. We will eat this living bread. We will drink this saving cup. And feel your presence, O oh Lord, as we offer this bread, and as we bring you this cup. Bless them, Lord Jesus, be the snow, give us life. Send us your spirit, the source of our lives, and together we will serve you with love. And together we will serve you with love. Let us pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. May this oblation, O Lord, which on the altar of the cross canceled the offense of the whole world, cleanse us, we pray, of all our sins, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for you place the salvation of the human race on the wood of the cross, so that where death arose, life might again spring forth and the evil one who conquered on a tree might likewise on a tree be conquered through Christ our Lord. Amen. Through, through him the angels praise your majesty, dominions adore, and powers tremble before you. Heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim worship together with exultation. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in our humble, in humble praise as we acclaim. Holy, holy, Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest, Hosanna in the highest. 
Blessed is He who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Hosanna in the highest. Hosanna in the highest. Hosanna in the highest. Please all kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy therefore these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and into wittily into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, he broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Please rise. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again, until you come again. Your death, O Lord. Therefore, Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you've held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church is spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. 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 At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father. Our 
Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. And graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will. To live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please all kneel. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only see the word, and my soul shall be healed. Para sa lahat ng tatanggap ng banal na komunyon, Sasagot po tayo ng amen pagkasabi ng pari o ng lay minister ng katawan ni Kristo. Isubo agad sa bibig bago umalis sa harapan ng pari o lay minister. Sumunod po tayo. with me, Lord, that I may never forget you. Stay with me, Lord, because I'm weak. Stay with me, Lord, for you. 
stay with me, Lord, for you are my light. Oh, I need you, my Jesus, in this night of exile. Stay with me, my Jesus. In the breaking of the bread, the light which disperses all darkness, the force that sustains me, the unique joy of my heart. Stay with me, Lord, that I may hear your voice and follow you. Stay with me, Lord, for I desire to love you. Stay with me, Lord, if you wish me to be faithful to you. Oh, how I need you, my Jesus, in this night of exile. Stay with me, my Jesus, in the breaking of the bread. Light which disperses all darkness, the force that sustains me, the unique joy of my heart. Oh, I need you. My Jesus, in this night of exile, stay with me, my Jesus, in the breaking of the bread, the light which disperses all darkness, the force that sustains me the unique joy of my heart. The unique joy of my
Magkakaroon po tayo ng second collection para sa Disaster and Relief Fund na ipinantutulong ng ating simbahan sa mga naapektuhan at nasalanta ng mga sakuna at kalamidad. Tumulong po tayo. Ang sinuman ang nabubuhay para sa sarili lamang. Walang sinuman ang namamatay para sa sarili lamang. Tayong lahat ay may pananagutan sa isa't isa. Tayong lahat ay tinipon ng Diyos na papiliya. Announcement Ang Ministry of Altar Servers ng Basilica Minor at Pambansang Dambana ni Jesus Nazareno ay muling naghahanap at tumatanggap ng mga nagnanais na maging lingkod sa dambana ng poong Jesus Nazareno bilang sakristan. Inaanyayahan namin ang mga kalalakihan na may edad 10 hanggang 21 taong gulang na lumahok sa aming training program. Para sa mga nagnanais na lumahok, maaaring bisitahin at i-message ang Facebook page ng Ministry of Altar Servers, Quiapo Church. Mga kadeboto, atin pong suportahan ang mga opisyal na social media accounts ng Quiapo Church. Halina't i-like at mag-subscribe sa mga opisyal na social media accounts ng ating parokya. Tignan mabuti ang profile name at pictures ng bawat social media accounts. Facebook account. YouTube account. Instagram account. Threads account. X o Twitter account. At TikTok account. Maging mapanuri po at mag-ingat sa mga peke at mapanlinlang na social media accounts, lalo na sa YouTube kung saan pinapalabas ang mga lumang videos ng ating misa o galing sa iba pang simbahan. Ipalaganap natin ang mga opisyal na social media accounts ng Quiapo Church. Mga paalaala sa mga nagsisimba. Pagkatapos ng misa, wiwisikan po ang lahat ng banal na tubig. Pinakikiusapan ang lahat na manatili lamang muna sa inyong mga lugar. Tanging sa Quezon Boulevard o sa Plaza San Juan lamang ang labasan ng lahat. Sumunod po tayo. Maraming salamat po sa inyong pagdalaw at pagsisimba sa Basilica Menor at Pambansang Dambana ni Jesus Nazareno. Please all stand. Let us pray. Lord, having been nourished by your holy banquet, we beseech you, Lord Jesus Christ, to bring those you have redeemed by the wood of your life-giving cross to the glory of the resurrection, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. And this final blessing includes a special blessing For our pilgrims here today. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Blessed are you, O God, Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. You have given us your only Son to be our way to you. Make us follow him generously, faithfully, and lovingly. Merciful Jesus of Nazareth, you have revealed God's grace and unconditional love at the cross. You set your church in this world from which the true light would shine for all to see. Grant that we who enter this holy shrine may walk always in ways as disciples of justice, peace, mercy, and hope. We offer our prayers for the sick, the oppressed, the youth, and those who need most of your mercy. Hear our humble petitions. Bless these religious articles with us today. We may be fervent in prayer and in charity. As we continue our journey as you pilgrim people here on earth, may we set our hearts on the road to heaven, our true home and reward, For you live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit.
Amen. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks, Thanks be to God. Jesus Nazareno, sinasamba ka namin. Pinipinturo ka namin, araw mo ang aming buhay at kaligtasan sa Padre Jesus. Nazareno, iligtas mo kami sa kasalanan. Ang krus mong inamatayan ay sa gisag ng aming kaligtasan. Nuestro Padre Jesus Nazareno, Pinarangal ka namin. Nuestro Padre Jesus Nazareno, Pinuwan natin namin. Nuestro Padre Jesus Nazareno, Pinarangal ka namin. Nuestro Padre Jesus Nazareno, Pinuwan natin ang namin.